friend welcome back to our channel where i inspire your desire to be great to be great to be great thank you guys so much for tuning in watching another video if you are new to my channel hey welcome my name is christina i know i look crazy i'm sorry if this is the first time you are meeting me looking like this but we gonna transform in a little bit so um before we get into it to my amazing supporters thank y'all so much for all of your amazing support i appreciate every single one of you y'all today is saturday october 22nd technically Friday, but it's 12.47 a.m. It's almost one o'clock in the morning on a Friday night, y'all. And um, I guess I could say I'm super bored. I don't really want to use that word, but um, I don't know. I'm just in a space where I know that I just need to redo my hair, if that makes sense. Um, so that's kind of like what we're gonna talk about in this video. I don't really, um, I don't know what the title is gonna be, but I know what I wanna talk about in this video. So first of all, um, y'all seen, I've had these knotless braids for officially like a month and three days now, but I knew I wanted to go from like knotless braids to either redoing the same knotless braids, but then I feel like that would be super boring. So I decided um, I wanted to go from knotless braids to tribal braids. So the goal is to go for this look here. So that's why y'all see that I'm, I've already like parted out the front of my hair or whatnot, and I'm just taking it out. It's been, I guess, boring taking it out, but I've entertained myself with like some YouTube videos and stuff like that. I've literally just been watching videos and listening to music a little bit and stuff. And then, I don't know, Friday nights, like super, super late Friday nights in a weird way is a creative time for me. Like I get pretty creative. Like I've noticed like late Friday nights, I've come up with some very creative YouTube videos. So sometimes I can act on them, sometimes I can't. This one, I figured I would act on it because I'm taking out my hair. What else is there to do? So I'm about to um kind of break down like the setup and then we're gonna talk a little bit and then you know i'm gonna motivate y'all in this video too but um that aside as i said i'm removing the front part of my knotless braids the back ones of course are gonna stay my hair have actually grown like a bit so i don't know i think i'm gonna be doing like um i'm gonna be wearing this type of weave for a little bit to help my hair continue to grow fast. But as I'm taking these out, because that's another thing, I'm about to be reusing this hair. And I also wanted to review um, this hair because if you haven't seen, I do have a hair video on my channel. And that video has like over 500 views. Um, but I, I don't know, I guess, Who knows but um this is the hair that i am using um i'll tell y'all more about it it's a really good hair actually um my mom's the one that did my hair by the way in case y'all are wondering but that aside um this is a really really good quality hair which is why i'm using it i'm actually about to show y'all so um i'm in beauty room office space whatever y'all want to call it and right here i got my braiding rack set up so as i take out the as i take these things out i put them right here just hanging them keeping them pre-parted at first i was going to cut them out because my mom did explain like the hair quality is so good that you really can reuse them i didn't really believe her at first don't tell her i said that y'all don't tell her don't tell her <laughs> but um yeah i didn't really believe her at first but i guess i'm finding out now i was gonna like cut them out and then take it all out so they come out faster and then reuse like this fresh hair but to be very honest i don't feel like re parting so i'd rather just take out enough of these and then reuse them to like re i mean to transition to the tribal braids um hairstyle then i don't know i guess cut them out waste them and then have to pre-part again so that's pretty much where i'm at y'all um i'm 
I'm really excited to do my hair like that. I hope it lasts for at least a good like three weeks or even a month. I don't know, but we'll see how it goes. But I really, really like this hair. Um, that's what I was supposed to be showing y'all. I'll show y'all once I finish this one and um take it out but i really like this hair it's a very good quality hair and it was very affordable y'all it was five dollars and 99 cents i'm gonna see if i can find it on amazon and link it in the description box in case y'all want to use that brand and order it but um yeah it's a really 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 good brand here because even when i take it out like it's super duper clean like it's not dirty it doesn't tangle which is why i can easily even um just reuse it so i'm about to bring y'all over to this side in my chair i'll be right back because i was sitting down like taking my taking these braids out so i'm gonna adjust the camera and then come back and then we're gonna talk okay What I wanted to talk to y'all about in this video is like knowing when you need self-care um, and not fall into like a rut or a routine of neglecting yourself because I feel like it's pretty easy to do that um, and I don't think anybody should do it because it just, I don't know, it doesn't help. So for me, um, like... I keep track of like when I do my hair like usually um, in my phone like if I got my hair done I um, I would like put it on my calendar even like for example washing my hair so for example as y'all can see here I put it on my calendar hair washed half washed my hair or, or washed my hair whatever you want to call it um, so yeah I try to put all this stuff on my calendar I don't do it with everything because some things I feel like are pretty like self-explanatory where you can kind of just know that you need to do it but the most important thing that I want to mention in this video is like don't forget to do it because I feel like let's say you're going through something or you're having a hard time with something um it will help you like feel better or get through that situation better so I don't know that's kind of like what I wanted to um, talk about here is like just knowing when it's time so as I told y'all like it was a month of me having this hair in not saying it's anything wrong with keeping it in longer if you want to but if it's not gonna affect your mood or your well-being then don't like I feel um I saw on Twitter like someone said um having your hair done um, not having your hair done affects your mental health and it sounds funny but in a way it's true for some people you know and when they say having your hair done it doesn't mean that you gotta get box braids it's you simply just washing your hair and doing like a twist out or washing your hair and doing like a leave out like you know or if you're a guy because this is not just for my ladies but even for men even something as simple as going to go get a haircut or if your hair is grown out if you know if you need your locks retwisted or if you need your braids like re freshly done like you know what i'm saying like i just feel like those things have a way of like boosting your self-esteem have a way of boosting boosting your energy if that makes sense so that's just what I wanted to share with y'all in this video you know if you're not feeling your best or if you're going through something challenging right now don't forget to take care of yourself because it's easy to think or feel unworthy of taking care of yourself because you're going through something but just because you're going through something it doesn't mean you're not worthy of looking your best or being taken care of or carrying yourself as nicely and that's something that I had to like push myself to do over these last several months over this past year because I have faced some challenges I've faced certain things and sometimes I get so down or I'm like oh I don't want to get my hair done or oh, I don't want to clear my mustache or I don't want to remove my nose hair or whatever you know I don't want to get my nails done or I don't want to go get a pedicure but those little things like really really help boost your self-esteem really really help boost like you know your self-confidence 
and all those things and it just helps you feel better so my message in this video is just because you're going through something doesn't mean you're not worthy of self-love it doesn't mean you're not worthy of self-care still discipline yourself still push yourself especially i don't even want to say adults because teenagers do it too i did it when i was a teenager like you know get up dress up look your best um carry yourself as nicely as you possibly can i just want to tell you you're still worthy of self-care you're still worthy of being taken care of and maintaining yourself even when you're going through the darkest moments of your life you still deserve to look beautiful you still deserve to carry yourself the best you still deserve to have your hair freshly washed and neatly styled period even if it's just a ponytail like even if it's just to brush your hair slick your hair nicely in a ponytail get up and do it look at y'all so i told y'all this is the hair look at that barely anything in it i be forgetting i need to let this camera focus so y'all can see what i be talking about but look at it that's so beautiful so um i either just put it like on the side here and then put it on the braiding rack after but yeah that's my message to y'all so i'm going to focus and just finish um trying to take as much of these out as possible y'all so what's super funny about this the goal is to finish taking them out tonight and hopefully install the braids tonight but even if i don't um i have to speak on a business call tomorrow on zoom like on camera so while i was sitting here doing this i'm like girl what if you don't finish this tonight and then i a wig down here on my um hair stand where i um i could take it out and just throw my wig on <laughs> even if i don't finish so it's no big deal um, i'm gonna just do my best but yeah i wanted to just share that message with y'all so i'm gonna come back once i'm done taking these out and, um and then also show y'all the um the braided look so I love y'all. I hope this inspires y'all and I hope y'all get the message. So I'm going to see y'all in the next part of this video when I revive. <laughs> hey y'all. So I am officially back. I finally finished my hair and I absolutely love it y'all. It's been a super long day but look at it. I don't know if y'all can see that. But yeah, I finished it. I put some beads on the ends here and I absolutely love it. So I'm just gonna pretty much wrap up this video. Let me grab my sticky note real quick. So um, to close out this video, the last thing that I wanna say to y'all is just because some things like just because one thing is going wrong it doesn't mean that everything has to go wrong so maybe your financial life is falling apart doesn't mean like your appearance has to fall apart you know what i'm saying so that's the whole message behind this video that's and when i'm talking to y'all i'm talking to myself sometimes too so that's what i wanted to tell y'all still take care of yourself still still maintain yourself it's still okay to feel good you're still worthy of being loved you're still worthy of being cared for you're still worthy of looking your absolute best even if something or one area in your life is falling apart so um that's pretty much all i have for you as i told y'all the hair that i used in this video i explained it already i'm also um link it down below it's so here's a picture of the hair that I used. It's pre-stretched braiding hair, 24 inches by Rua, R-U-W-A is the brand. And the color I chose was SM1B27. Well, it's a really good quality hair. And as y'all can see, I, um, I'm gonna try to show y'all better lighting. I did reuse like the same hair for like this front part that I did. And it turned out pretty nice. So yeah, that's, I hope y'all can see that. That's the final look. So that's all I got for y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Do not forget to like, do not forget to comment. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe. I'm gonna show y'all how to do both in this video because I did give y'all my promise that I'm gonna start showing y'all how to comment, how to subscribe. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna just click on a random video. So there's this really funny guy named Jidiana. I like to watch him. 
Um, he's super funny, so let me show you how to subscribe. So let's say you're on my channel, you're watching your video from my phone. Just hit the subscribe button and boom, you are subscribed. Every time I drop a video, you will see it. And then as far as comments is concerned, where this comment section is, click on comments and then add a comment. And then you could just say, hey, that's all. I just want to know who y'all are or whatever that's watching. Um, again, so I can tailor my content towards my audience. So that's pretty much all I got for y'all in this video. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all so much for supporting. Make sure y'all stay tuned for the next video. I'll see y'all in the next video where I inspire your desire to be great. To be great. To be great. Bye.